chances are you're using different peripherals from different brands. So how do you sync lighting across all of them? The answer is Windows Dynamic Lighting. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Candidor Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can enable and use Windows 11 Dynamic Lighting. Now finding out the Windows 11 Dynamic Lighting setting is rather easy. Just press Windows key plus I, open up settings, head over to personalization and you will see dynamic lighting right here. Now, as soon as you will enter this page, some of your uh, peripherals might stop lighting up. For example, my keyboard lights just went off and that's because dynamic lighting has taken it over. Now, you have a few global options here and you have your supported devices here. So G502X Plus, that's my mouse. And uh, then uh, Ragnar is my laptop same. So that's my laptop's keyboard. And these are the only two compatible devices plugged in at the moment. So you can enable the slider first to in use dynamic lighting on your devices and just doing that will sync all of your devices. So right now my devices are in global mode, which means my key, uh, my mouse has the same RGB effect as going on my keyboard. I can control the brightness from here and uh, I can of course change the effect so I can increase or decrease the effect speed I can make it match my windows accent color or I can just select a main color and have it run do keep in mind that the colors that you show see here aren't exactly what appear on your keyboard and mouse that's because different RGBs and different lights see it differently so you don't have to worry about it too much you can select from these colors or uh, you can just Go ahead and uh, create a custom one from uh, RGB and hex values. And then of course you have your uh, regular effects, which is uh, you can have a solid color, you can have a rainbow effect and you can control the speed and the duration. You can control the direction to be forward or backward. I don't really see how that matters. You have your waves. Uh, once again, direction, left, right, up, down, you're not going to be able to see much difference uh, depending on how much RGB you have. For example, if you have a four zone RGB keyboard, not a lot of usefulness there. But if you have a perky RGB keyboard, that looks great. So, uh, of course, you have your main color and your uh, second color. So you get to choose between two colors. And then, of course, you can choose custom colors for both of those devices got wave we've got wheel once again two colors and finally we've got a gradient with once again two colors uh, this is a static light effect though to keep in mind so you're going to have a gradient between two colors for example if i can show you this i can find a bright enough color yeah so for example here is the gradient between my mouse can get this in focus yeah so this is a red and purple gradient which i'm sure you can't see but and i have the same gradient on my keyboard so dynamic lighting is a great great way of ensuring that you have consistent rgb across all of your devices and it works surprisingly well you can of course uh, click on any device and then customize uh, uh, individual effects so you can change it uh, same thing here uh, there are two more settings that you need to keep in mind so uh, compatible apps in the foreground always control lighting i recommend that you check this on simply because if there is a game that uh, relies on rgb or uses your keyboard or mouse rgb to tell you that you're in a different mode or to communicate any information with you enabling this slider will allow compatible apps to communicate with the rgb on your devices and then there is a background light control so what this does is it lets you select the order in which compatible apps have control of your keyboard now for some reason uh, logitech g hub refuses to show up in this list but i have omen light studio here and i can ch uh, change it up or down to control how uh, this uh, my keyboard and mouse are lit up Omen Light Studio can configure RGB uh, lights. So uh, if I use the dynamic lighting background controller, which is the default, my mouse and keyboard still work. But if I put Omen Light Studio up there, 
you'll see that my mouse rgb doesn't work anymore and that's simply because now i have to go and configure it in omen light studio so uh this is how windows 11 dynamic lighting works it's pretty simple it's very easy to set up it is a little basic and uh, of course dedicated utilities like light studio for my keyboard and uh, g hub for my mouse will give much much better control over how well your rgb is how well customized it is and so on and so forth but if you need a quick way of syncing everything rgb on your system dynamic lighting is the way to go and it's not bad it's it can get better but it's definitely a way you can easily uh, control rgb across multiple devices without having to install 500 different programs if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video